Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and Humble Bundle are coming hard for game developers in the month of September. There's a ton of bundles going on right now, but I want to bring two book bundles to your attention because uh, the one of them is just is weirdly labeled. So I'll show you exactly what I mean right now. So let's head on over to the Humble section, and we'll go into the books category. The two that we were talking specifically about today are the Unreal 5 bundle here, and that one's really confusingly named, and then we have the Raspberry Pi and Retro Gaming bundle. Now that one is uh, niche, so I don't know how many of you are going to be interested in it, but I definitely thought I would mention it just because there are a couple of programming books in here, specifically Code the Classics Volume 1 and 2. These will walk you through how to create classic games. So you see like Arkanoids and fighting games and so on, a Centipede, that type of game using Python and Pi games. So if you're interested uh, in using those particular technologies, uh, so Python, Pi Game Zero, and an IDE to code these kind of games, uh, that is what is in here. A bunch of books about Raspberry Pi itself. And then we've got a C plus, oh, sorry, a C and GUI program programming book in here as well. Seems a little random. It's it's an interesting bundle for a very niche subject, but because of these two books, I thought I would quickly mention it. Next, we're going to head on over to the Unreal 5 bundle, which is one of the worst named bundles in the history of Humble, because as you will see in just a second. Um, this is a collection of ebooks. They're in EPUB and PDF format. They're from Pact. Pact has a random reputation. Basically, it boils down to Pact books can be very good. They can also be very bad. It comes down more or less to the individual author and editor that was involved. Pact will cover a ton of subjects, but they don't always cover them well. But they do cover areas that are sometimes considered niche. By the way, Humble Bundles organized tiers, higher value tier, you get all this stuff below it. Plus, you decide how your money is allocated between Humble, Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose to do so. And thank you so much if you do to help support Game From Scratch. So now you're getting to the weirdness of the naming of this bundle. Here we are at the $1 tier. So for a buck, what you get is this book over here on Unity. And this book here on Unity. Yeah, this Unreal Engine 5 bundle is actually an Unreal, Godot, and Unity book bundle. Now, the majority of books in here are definitely about Unreal, and as we're going to see in a second, they're on kind of niche topics of Unreal, but um, if you're a Godot developer, there's probably as much interest for you here because there's like three or four books on Godot and then one generic book, and there's not a lot of Godot books out there. There's a lot of Unity books out there, but here you're getting a $1 tier, you're getting XR Development with Unity, and become a Unity Shaders Guru, plus you're getting Reimagining Characters with the Unreal Engine MetaHuman creator. Then we jump up the next tier, the median price tier, you throw in Unreal Engine 5 shaders and effects cookbook, uh, the build stunning real-time VFX with Unreal Engine, and then the essential guide to creating multiplayer games with Godot 4. So yeah, now we're starting to get into the Godot books, and there's not a lot of stuff. You want a multiplayer book on Godot, there's not a lot of topics out there. So this one could be an interesting pickup for you. And we jump up to the uh, topmost tier, and we've got um, two books on filmmaking using Unreal Engine, again, a little bit on the niche side, and that's where Pack kind of shines, is they will cover these topics that have sort of a smaller audience involved. Uh, just how well do they cover them? That's the question it comes down to if the author was any good. So we've got cinematics, uh, photo real environments in Unreal Engine 5, virtual filmmaking with Unreal Engine 5, and then architectural visualization in Unreal Engine 5. So again, uh, not no topics you normally see covered. Then we move down to the next one. We've got game development patterns with Unreal Engine 5, multiplayer game development with Unreal Engine 5, and Unreal Engine 5 game development with C++ scripting. And from there, we go to elevating game experiences with Unreal Engine 5, Unreal Engine 5 character creation, animations, and cinematics, uh, blueprints of visual scripting for Unreal Engine 5. You can see, again, the additions here, third edition, second edition. And then we get back into more universal game engine stuff, because this one is for everybody. This is mathematics for game programming and computer graphics. I actually love math books in general. Um, you know, again, this one isn't applied specifically to any game engine or anything along those lines. It covers the topic of programming. They are uh, actually using Python and Pi game for the examples, but it's math, um, not necessarily game engine or anything like that. So don't get too struck up on the details. This is more about algorithms and the way things are implemented. And then we go to Unity 2022 by example. This is the first disappointment in the bundle in that 2022 full version out of date. Uh, that part is the only kind of oldish book I see here. Uh, mastering uh, Unity Game Development with C Sharp. Again, 2022 version. It doesn't change that much between versions, so it'll still be a relevant book. It's just something to notice. And then we get back into Godot books here. So we've got the Godot for Game Development Projects. And then we've got Learning GD Script by Developing a Game with Godot 4. And then uh, I think we're in repeat land. So it, it's an interesting bundle in that there's a lot of Unreal Engine books here, but some of them are very um, niche in their topics. So we got, I think, about 11 Unreal Engine books, a generic math book, uh, 
four Unity books, and then we've got these three Godot titles. Um, now, the Godot part, again, is quite interesting just because there's not a lot of books out there on Godot. So if you want multiplayer, uh, GD script, and the Godot projects learning, as well as a math book, could be a worthwhile pickup. Again, at 15 bucks, if there's one book in here, it makes the rest all basically free. Uh, but definitely, there's a reason why this was, you know, top build as Unreal Engine 5, but it's absolutely insane to me that there are uh, eight books in there for uh, Unity, Godot, and then Game Math, and it's called the Unreal Engine 5 bundle. Uh, but let me know what you think of this. Let me know what you think of Pact in general. And by the way, I mentioned it earlier on that there are a ton of bundles going on right now. So we got uh, the Ovani Sounds one. Excellent, excellent chance to get audio and some audio plugins for different game engines. Blender Market. Uh, this one has a ton of Blender plugins. Unfortunately, it's one and done, so you're not getting updates for them, but you're getting some of the best plugins available for Blender out of that one. Uh, there is the uh, Zenva courses for Godot, uh, Game Art in Blender courses from Game Dev TV. Uh, and then on top of that, we have the repeat of this one. We have this one that's just going to end. That's a number of city assets from Decagon. Uh, and then a couple of more. So there is a ton of game development content going on. And let's just add to the pile. So let me know what you think of these books. Let me know what you think of Pact in general. I think the, the answer always tends to come down with Pact. It comes down to the book. It comes down to the author. Pack's overall quality control is garbage, but they can bring out some really good books depending on what author they got. So they kind of take throw crap at the wall approach to book development, and there's less and less people creating books these days. So the fact that they fill these niches is generally useful, but I'm curious what your opinion is. So that's it. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.